Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have an emergency service call for a packaged water source heat pump. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. The thermostat was calling, I heard the evaporator fan motor running, but what happened is when the compressor tried to start, everything just died out. They have both these package units connected to one thermostat. So when this compressor tried to start, everything just died out. Let's make sure we have incoming power. So let's see, power is coming in here. It's gonna be these two, comes right into the contactor. Nothing, okay? Coming from this pull switch. That's all it is. Yeah, so breakers popped. This one, let's make sure we got power coming in here too. Let's make sure it's not on the same breaker as well. All right, we have 208 coming in here. I made my way inside here. Let's take a look at the compressor. What I wanna do is take off that cover and physically see the terminals before resetting anything and make sure we don't have a grounded compressor. Those terminals are looking all clean. This right here is T2. It looked like it might have been touching with T1. Let's separate these. And reset the breaker. Here's the breaker panel. This one's in the middle position. So set her off and on. You can hear the fan motors running. So we definitely have power coming back in. There must be a delay on the thermostat, so let's go ahead and give it a chance. See if it starts. I got my wireless probes connected and also the suction line temperature clamp. We are equalized at about 132 PSI and we have about a 74 degree Fahrenheit suction line. Let's give it a chance. She tripped the breaker again. I isolated the compressor and took off the three wires, T1, T2, and T3. Here I have the Subco M500 megameter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this compressor for any grounds. I did make a video on how to use this. Pretty much we have one lead on one terminal and the other grounded to the casing of the motor. I'm gonna turn off this light so we can read the light on the meter. I'm gonna press the button. Red. Got red. All right. As suspected, we read below 30 mega ohms. We have a bad compressor. I taped off the three wires, isolated the compressor, restarted the breaker, contactor pulled in, everything is running. Clearly not the compressor because that needs to be changed, but nothing tripped. Another test showing that it really is the compressor. And then down here is the second unit. They must share a transformer because when this thing trips, we lose power, it kills the power for the transformer, and then both of these don't work. Anyways, what I want to do for now is at least have them running with this one. This is actually an updated model. This is the 410A version. This is the R22 version. I'm gonna leave this one running for them. And then for this one, we gotta pull out the compressor, replace it. And yeah, just make sure that the pressures are good here. And we can leave this one in peace and then track it down. And we're gonna end this service call here. We diagnosed, we got a bad compressor, isolated it, got this one's running. Until next time so if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time